Good evening. This is Edgar V with TV 180. I'm with my boy Rich here. Hey, what's up? I just want to let you guys know our objective with this channel and with the, with the promotion of the 180 on social media. We want people to know what we do here, who we are, spread the good news as a community, as a church, as Christ believers, and let the community know what it is we do here and who we are as Bible-believing Christians who love Christ that want to share this joy of salvation with the community. We have music, refreshments. It's a place where family can come out and enjoy good theater, good, wholesome comedy and the drama skits. No, That's right. how we try to share our faith with tact and love to the community so that we can see lives changed to the power of God. That's right. Hey, tell us what's going to happen this weekend. Saturday night. April 20th? April 20th, yes. We're bringing the 70s to life. We're going to pull together the best 70s attire that people can. And we're going to give away $100 to whoever has the best outfit that is 70s themed. Ooh. Right. That's a lot of fried chicken. You're going to like it. Yep. Come Retro. check it out. So as you know, we're very involved with the community and we have a lot of productions going on almost every weekend. Something special is coming up on Friday, April 26th. Can you elaborate on that for us, Frank? Yeah, Edgar. It is a support event for people in our community who are first responders, active or non-active veterans. And uh, this event is called No One Left Behind. It's a support event. We're going to have refreshments. We're going to have a young man who uh, served in Iraq, saw some pretty heavy action. It's just our way of showing to our community that we support our policemen, our firemen, and all the veterans that are in our community here. Hope you can come out. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yes, thank you. Hey guys, thanks for joining us again. I'm here with Frank Richardson. Frank, you do something kind of special here uh, at the 180 building. Can you tell us a little bit about the program you're involved with? Yeah, yes. Uh, for the last three years, we've been involved with the Celebrate Recovery program. It's an outreach to the uh, community. And as many people know, there's just a ton of uh, rehab houses here. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of young kids coming and going in our city. And so we thought it'd be a great idea just to reach out. Uh, it's been very effective so far. So. Oh, I'm glad. And you do that right here. Here at the 180 itself. Yes, every on Tuesday Tuesdays. Night. Yes, okay. yes, sir. Every cool, Tuesday cool. night, Richie, at uh, seven o'clock. That's good. great. Thank you for doing that. That's a that's a powerful ministry. You know, I was submerged in drugs at a, at a young age, uh, some pretty serious drugs. So I, I I know I'm not too far removed from that situation. Tell us a little bit about your, your testimony. What was your life like before you met Jesus? Uh, yeah, you know, um, I was uh, just floating down the stream of life like everybody else letting the current of sin uh, just take me down, uh, partying, you know, lifestyle of partying, just drugs, uh, booze, rock and roll, all that that everybody, you know, eventually taps into at one time. Yeah. And it just kind of took me down a wrong road, came to a point in my life where I, I realized I needed God. And uh, when I did surrender my life, it was a radical, radical thing that happened to myself and to my wife, who was my girlfriend at the time. but. Uh, I mean, just God really just radically changed us. And, you know, that was 40 years ago, but it's just as fresh today as it ever was. So it's just amazing. Great so what was it that you actually did that when you asked Jesus, did you enter an altar call? Did you get invited out to a music scene like we do at the 180? Was it a movie? Did somebody door knock? Yeah, what happened was when I went to high school, uh, one of my buddies that I used to party with a lot, his name was Tommy Thomason. And him and I were on the football team together. We were on the tennis team together. Uh, but we also were just like really heavily into uh, the party scene, uh, Friday, Saturday nights. You know, we had uh, parted ways after high school for a couple years. Unbeknownst to me, Tommy had really went downhill but he eventually surrendered his life to God wow. and so he sought me out he lived in uh, New Mexico but he he came to Mesa to seek me out to witness to me and wow. share the gospel and I am not exaggerating when he came into my apartment he there was such a joy on this man's face I, I thought to myself man I know this guy but he is so different mm -hmm. I mean if, if somebody was glowing I would say this man was glowing he was sharing the gospel with me there was just oh, nice. an aura of just joy that I could not deny and uh, man that just really made impact on me and so eventually I gave in and went to church with him and when I did I did go down to an altar and when I hit that altar Richie man I mean God just uh, broke me and uh, man I, I was like a baby just uh, 
weeping and just uh it was just god touching me that's, that's amazing. i don't know how else to explain it but yeah so how is your life different now it's amazing just to uh, be involved in what god is doing in the earth and i think the the thing that god eventually did in me after these some 40 years that i've been saved is he put a real desire in my heart to see other people uh serve god and to make it just to touch people's lives which is why i'm involved in the uh, celebrate recovery program it's just the joy that people change that's great do us a do us a favor and look in the camera right there and I'll for somebody who might be struggling with an addiction or a hang-up, some hope, and, and maybe invite them to the to the program you're involved with. You know, if you're out there and uh, you're struggling with whatever addiction it may be, uh, we call them hurts, habits, hang-ups, whatever it is. You know, if you're honest with yourself, you don't have any too many real, true, down-to-earth friends. And you know what? That's what we offer here. We offer friendship and God's love and uh, just a uh, powerful support group. So if you're out there and you're struggling, you know what, God's dealing with you, come and check us out. Tuesday night, 7 to 5. 422 West Gurley Street, Jesus Christ changed lives. He changed Frank's life, my life, and Richie's life. That's we right. just want to bring that to you guys. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Amen. Amen.